So high, nay, 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 nay. Low, no, 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 no. Now that leads us to what puts us in the middle, because we said we don't want to sing on a high larynx and we don't want to sing on a low larynx. We want to sing on a neutral larynx or a natural stated larynx. So there are a couple of vowels that we can use. The one that I like the most is uh, as in the word good or look. I know other voice teachers use uh, umlauts, like from German or French, like fleur, basically saying o, oh, the, the vowel o, oh, um, but what, actually what you're saying is e through o lips. Uh, uh, uh. uh, I'm assuming most people that are going to look at this know the word good or look or book, and not everyone in the world is going to know the word fleur. So that's why I use the English version. Uh, and that's going to bring up another topic, which is terminology, and I'll explain that later too.